Hey guys and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. Thanks so much for checking this out. If you are not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. We are at the Kentucky National Farm Machinery Show. There's a lot of crazy things to see in here. A lot of interesting things in this video. So let's go check it out. Kentucky Farm Show and it goes until Saturday so you have just a little bit of time left to check it out if you're interested. There's lots of interesting things to do here, lots of fun people to meet so if you've never been it's a really great time to come down just relax. Well okay maybe not relax especially if you're running into me. Let's go check it out. All right so we're here with Bruce, Bruce. Yeah. and he's going to show us the world's fastest tractor. Have you ever driven it? Well, I've sat in it. I haven't driven it, but I've sat in it. So, there so how fast can this thing go? It'll get up to 153 miles an hour was the top speed that it recorded. Um, the measured mile run was 136 miles an hour, so officially making it the world record um, fastest tractor. Wow, so you can get a lot of work done if you're going fast. Yeah. Why did, they, why did they decide to make it go that fast? What went through their head? Oh, so it's just a little bit of a uh, bit of a marketing piece so we do make the world's fastest production tractor over there okay. our JCB fast track so it does 43 miles an hour out oh. the factory and um, so yeah no we had a team of young engineers work on this machine and um, you know we got extra power out of the engine sort of changed the transmission a little bit to get us up to that speed now is this diesel is it gas? It's diesel so okay. six cylinder JCB diesel engine now how many horsepower is it's it just over a thousand Whoa. yeah and uh, so is this? This is just a tractor. Is yeah. this a tractor or is it a load? Okay, let's go. Over, let's go over this. Yeah. So it's got the same chassis frame as our 4000 series fast track. Um, same cab design, slightly modified as our all of our fast tracks. Um, the axles are the same as our production fast tracks, um, and then that's where. It, we start to get a little bit modified in terms of we've got a modified JCB diesel engine to get a thousand horsepower out of it. And then it's got a six speed transmission, um, obviously geared to get up to those those higher speeds. And then we've got all the, the aerodynamic you know, wow. body panels on there just to help with, with that high speed. You know, it's interesting because it almost looks like it should be electric with all of the, um, the, the detailing and the curves, yeah. yeah. That's all just for the for the aerodynamics, you know, a standard tractor is like trying to drive a sail through the air, I guess. So, so this all. So, is this actually work? Like, it has you can put implements on the back. So, how fast can you till up till up a field? Oh, I don't know if you'd <laughs> want to do that too much. It has a little tow tow hitch on the back, um, but I don't know if you'd want to put it to work too hard in the field. Do you think I could demo it driving that fast on a giant field? We could try. We could certainly try. <laughs> Give this a thumbs up if you think I should demo this going 100 miles an hour with a tillage system on the back. So let's go take a look at the back of this thing. We've got more stuff for the aerodynamics at the back here just to help the air. Oh, okay, so right here, the this is for the airflow underneath. Yep. Wow. And then we've got suspension, wow, suspension on the front and the rear, just like our standard production tractors. Wow. And then outboards. Uh, oh, you got brakes on the back too. Outboards, it brakes, yeah. So again, the same as our production tractors. So they're air over hydraulic ABS wow. brakes. This is just a special edition oh, machine. Okay. Um, it. Yeah, but it's it's based on our production tractor available. So for this is available for purchasing. Yeah, and this will have it. This has a top speed of 43 miles an hour. 43. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that beautiful chrome stack. Yeah. Now, how many horsepower is this? This is 330. Wow. This is the largest of our in our range, so the, the AT330. So now, does this would you actually till up a field at 43 miles an hour, or is it just no. for driving down the road? Just so that that high speed would be for driving down the road. We got a lot of manure tanker guys, custom operators that use it for that. Um, it has suspension on both 
the front uh, and the rear axle. So for in the field, you know, higher speeds in the field makes it a lot more comfortable for the operator, especially some of those newer high speed tillage equipment that we have. Okay, so I've noticed you have an accent. Let me guess where you're from. There we go. Okay, guess is down below. Where do you think he's from? I'm, I'm guessing like Southern Ireland. Uh, close, Scotland. Okay, that was gonna be my second Mexico. guess. That was gonna be my second guess. Scotland. Yeah, Northeast Scotland. Because it wasn't quite Irish, yeah. but it was, in, I'm not very good. Okay, Celtic. I'm not very good on my geography with Europe. Yeah. That's all right. Celtic, I, that's, I like that, that's nice. Yes. Celtic. North, yeah, Northeast Celtic. Scotland. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. Nice to meet you. So New Holland, uh, you know, we started making skid steers, uh, putting them out on the market in the early 70s, and then about 10, 12 years later in the early 80s, New Holland engineers uh, were the first ones to come up with the vertical lift geometry design for skid steers and compact track loaders. So we're very proud to have it. That's part of the reason why we look a little bit different than everyone else in the industry. Our boom design is primarily engaged, you know, designed for lifting force and tipping load, but also for industry leading visibility around the all the points of the cab, 360 degrees. So. so the technology that you guys invented is being implemented by other companies now too? It is. So you'll notice a lot of folks have, well, everyone has to have a four point lifting geometry in order to do, to do a vertical lift. And all brands now today uh, have a four point lifting geometry in order to achieve vertical lift. Before all the models were all radial lift until you know this fancy new design of vertical lift came out and everyone started following. So. See, yet another reason to have a new Holland in your barn. Just go blue. Did you find, did you find it yet? She just messing with me then. She acted like she put something on it. If she says she did, then I believe she did. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if <laughs> So did you figure out what I put on your back? No. She said that. What is this? You are not already subscribed? Click that subscribe button. What is stopping you? And don't forget to hit that bell. And check out the rest of those videos on the channel. Lots of cool stuff going on over there, guys. Okay, so, Jerry, this one's for you. I met this lovely couple here and they just informed me of where they met. All right, so tell me your story. We're both widows of good 42 year marriages. Got together about five years ago on farmersonly.com. Woohoo! <laughs> Twice blessed, twice blessed. Twice. There you go. And, it and not only is it twice blessed for us, but one of the first things that we shared with each other was that we were married to the love of our lives each for 42 years. And I was never able to have children. And my husband and I tried for 20 years to have children. Wow. Billy has yes. two fabulous children with spouses and six fabulous grandchildren and i feel like a mother and a grandmother now oh so, that's so amazing very blessed thank you farmersonly.com <laughs> and this is not a sponsorship but i just had to tell you this was so amazing to actually hear a true story it is such an amazing story thank you guys so much Be on YouTube. Yes.
one of these before so if you know what this is put in the comments down below and see if you are right <laughs> I don't even know ready okay it looks like a death machine it kind of looks like a bouncy house for kids minus the fun factor <laughs> um yeah, egg bag. Wait a minute. Is this a silage bagger? Okay, let's look at this whole machine. We're gonna look at this whole thing, so let's see what we can find. So this is a silage bagging machine. That's right. So you just drive right over the silage pile and it puts it in a bag? Nope, actually the truck will back up to it and will dump the material onto the conveyor. The conveyor then feeds it up to a rotor that pushes it into the bag. And the operator here is controlling the wheel brakes plus anchors inside the material to hold the machine back so you pack more of it into the bag. And that's how we control the density of the material in the bag. So the better the density, the more it's gonna make the silage and not... Better fermentation, better storage, better carryover, less loss. So we're trying to get all the oxygen out of it we're trying to keep the temperature down and we're trying to get it to lower its pH to blow 4.0 as quick as possible and that will provide for a good uh, fermentation. We also have the ability to put inoculant on at the time of bagging. Uh, it's all about quality. We're trying to get the most quality out of it and try and eliminate the losses. So is this the type of machine that most farmers use to put their silage in? Because I've never watched silage bagging before. I've seen the bags. Sure. And I see them chopping it, sure. but I don't see it going from the cart to the bag. Is this sure. normally what they use or is this something specialized? Well, the self-propelled is more of a, for a very large operation or a large custom operator. Uh, the pull type bagger that we have down here is tractor powered. That oh, one okay. is more prevalent, a lot higher volume uh, out there. The options for storage are either an upright silo, a bunker, a drive over pile, or a bag and the upright silos are more from years ago. Yeah. Drive over piles have kind of taken over, but when you don't have enough forage and you're really concerned about quality and you're trying to make the best product possible, that's where bagging fills the niche. Interesting. Well, very cool. So how long does it take you to change all these knives out? Well, the other day, I changed every knife on a Dispine 313 and I did it 1 minute 32 seconds. For every single one of these? I flipped every single knife on a machine just like this one, 8 discs, 16 knives, the entire cutter bar, 1 minute 32 seconds. So now are you going to register this for NASCAR races? Oh, I don't know <laughs> if I'm ready for a pick crew or not, but that's a... Uh, that's pretty quick. Um, I mean, the reality is if you have traditional bolted knives, um, even if you have an impact gun, it's going to be pretty hard to beat that challenge. Um, as I like to point out, I'm 40 years old and I'm getting up there. So I'm pretty sure there's some 20 year old out there that could, that could, <laughs> that beat, could beat you. <laughs> but, uh, challenge put but, out there, uh, guys. No, no, it's absolutely not a challenge. I'm not, I'm not putting that out there as a challenge because uh, you have to obviously you know, work smart, work safe. But, Very good, yes, that's true. Uh, the reality is it's, it's a pretty cool feature and you know the reality is with this system the, the quick max knife change system and all the new holland disc binds now there's absolutely no excuse not to change a knife and always be cutting at your cleanest so it's a pretty cool pretty cool feature and it's standard on all new holland disc binds these days now does the disc binds always come with these awesome led lights underneath because i kind of like to see my hay glowing at night no no that's just a special touch for the show to make sure everybody can see you're less likely to bang your head I think so. Maybe the tool came out a little bit. Maybe it's not the way. Oh, there it is. Okay. There you go. I think I got it now. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to flip it over. So close. Oh, so close. Oh, it's not in. There you go. Oh. Locked and loaded. Beet juice is better. <laughs> so, okay. 
My first question, have you tried the beet juice? No. No. It's retired. So oh, it's a byproduct of the sugar beet that. manufacturing process. But you could, in theory, eat it. It comes I mean, from beets. Yeah, technically you could consume it. There'd be nothing wrong with consuming it. Can my tractor consume it? Yeah, that'd be Absolutely. better. <laughs> that's, that's definitely the thing you want to go with. <laughs> so it's just naturally freeze protected to negative 35. Um, the byproduct itself just has a really low freeze rating. And at negative 35, it doesn't actually freeze. It just becomes um, like thicker. Yeah, so it's like, so like the sugar beet manufacturing process, it's like out comes sugar, and then out comes this byproduct that is what our product is mostly. So basically the cattle would flow through, and as they would go through there, they would follow through. So this is a sweep tub, and all it's really designed to do is sweep and push the cattle through. As they would go through, this is a no back to keep the cattle from backing out of the alleyway. So, so they push down through here. So you can just walk on up through so here. So I walk on through here. So you're going to be the critter. So like I'm the cow coming on through. Wait, can they push this up? They're able to no, push this up? It's just fine. Oh, so they walk. duck on so your ass. The cattle can't back out. So you know. No! <laughs> and then, now I'm stuck in here. You're not going to vaccinate me, are you? I may. I'll try to keep one of these boys from breeding anyways, all right? So come on. All right, so now we're in here. Yep, so now you're in the squeeze chute. Oh, I'm locked in. So now we can just squeeze down ah! on you. Oh now we've got you squeeze. Okay. Okay, so now you're not gonna move around, you're not gonna bounce around. I'm gonna pick a leg. Okay. Okay, so, so I'm a cow. Squeeze. So right. this, so what would you do in this squeeze chute? What would you do to tend to the cow? This would be the head gate. Turn your camera around. This way? So when they close around the head gate, will close around the cap. Oh, so right. this is the so This would the be cows. a self-catch head gate. Okay, so right. you would put cows in here just caps for like ear tagging or something? Your ear tagging or whatever. Okay. Alright. So. Oh, you and then come you on get to come out. out. Woo. So that's how that would work. So now what? What is the time? How many calves can you run through this shield in an hour? The most are about 60 an hour. Oh, okay. So, so that's pretty, pretty good. Efficient. Yeah, so you can just plop. Now all this stuff is hand, so you have to have somebody manning every station or is it automatic? Like A lot of it is automatic. A lot of it's uh, automatically you set it, let the animal catch themselves. Oh. So we have units that are also hydraulic that you can facilitate by just pulling a hydraulic lever. Oh, okay. Now, sometimes you guys complain that I don't have any John Deere tractors in the video. So here is one just for you. Not bad. This bad boy can be yours for the low price of $82,500. Just drop the check in the mail. This one seems a little more reasonably priced. What do you think? Green or orange? This tree has 150 PTO horsepower. That's really good. Now, first impression has a nice slope to it. Hey, Marble Fanatic, I got your tractor right here. This one's got your name on it. All right, guys, I don't know if you are aware. <laughs> New Holland is doing a huge giveaway. And how awesome would it be if I won all of this stuff to do on the farm? All right, so first of all, we have a bright, nice, brand new T6 with a loader on the front. It is in the giveaway. This is a one whole package. Plus, not shown, they also have a skid steer. This skid steer is the only one they've ever manufactured in blue. So not only do you get it for free, but you get the only one that's ever been done in that kind. Plus, you also get a hay rake. I know, I already have a hay rake, but this one's free. And it's New Holland. Plus, how nice would this look, cutting my hay fields? Look at this. 
to be fantastic. I could get it done in four hours instead of eight. Don't tell anybody. And I know a lot of you guys are complaining that I need a round baler instead of a square baler. Check this out. It even comes with a round baler. So I can still use my square baler and add in a nice round baler for those of you who insist on round bales. But I still like my squares. So what do you think? Head on over to the New Holland website and you can sign up for the giveaway too. But put my name in because I'm going to be signing up a hundred more times. Right? Push in that gate there a minute. Why? Go in the gate? Push on a little bit. I want to see it move. blind people? Yeah. Alright, let's go with that answer. Pretty good. We'd appreciate if you delete the footage of us. Oh, okay. That was fun. Yeah. Okay. I, I knew what the deal was with that one. Yeah, no, that's fine. No tread on my boots. <laughs> good there was tread on there. Good try, though. Oh, thanks. You've heard of painting the town red? Well, this bad boy will paint your field brown. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. If you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Take care. Bye.